Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a kitting up. I'm going to be kitting up to do diamond paintings. This one is from Craft Ease here and it's called Warped Fields by Nicholas Abtan. And I did get this as a PR package. And I'm also doing this diamond painting, which is big. This one is from Craftably, and this one's called Seasons Greetings by Daniel Rogers. I got this from Craftably for $29.49, and it's a bigger one than I normally do. So, so I'm going to do the smaller one first. So let's move the massive canvas. So... This one is from Crafties, like I said, and so let me fill out my journal here. So there, it's a, yep, 50 by 40. That's correct. This is a full drill with poured glue. There is 34 colors. This is a square drill. So this is my first square drill from Crafties. There is a DMC code and I'm kidding this up today, which is June 20. I was like, I know what day it is. I, was, I just need to make sure. 6-20-2022. All right. So I'm going to use these Tic Tac containers. Here, they, these were actually gifted to me from Jeanette. She gave she gave me like I don't I think there were six five or six of these containers, and she was like, Joan, I hope you can use these. I have no space for them, but I still like to buy stuff. <laughs> That's my problem with storage is I I have plenty of storage. So um and P.S. I have used them. Sorry. That's okay, Jeanette. I use all my storage too. So thank you for the gift. So I'm going to use this here. There is 34 colors, so I'm going to probably... My plan is I do have some extra small storage here, so I will have to at least... If there's 32 here, if I take out two containers and put four in, then that's that's 34. And so, yeah, I'm gonna use those ones. The drills came in these bags here. And I don't know, where's my, I was like, where's my normal tray? I have like, trays that I normally use to kit things up and it came with this inventory sheet here so I was planning to use this for the drills I'm hoping yep it's just big enough so so I do know in these smaller containers I'm pretty sure it could fit five five but yeah I'm pretty sure it could fit five. So I'm just gonna put a dot next to the ones that have a lot. So that has more than five. And I'll probably kit those up first. Yeah, those ones have more than five, so they need the bigger ones. They might need more than one of the big ones, so I'll have to start swapping out the small ones as I go along. So, I'm just gonna use the inventory sheet here to make the labels. And 
I'm going to use my Xyron sticker maker to do it. Yeah, no, they're too wide for me to do two, cut it in half and do two at a time. So it's just going to be the one. So I'm just using my hand to hopefully make it so that it doesn't veer off to the edge. Okay, got that. So, and then squishing it to make sure that the extra adhesive is going to the plastic and not staying on there. And then I'm actually going to move them so that it's easier to cut. So, there. So now it's straighter, it's easier to cut when it's straighter. And I've actually had pretty good luck with repositioning these, the adhesive on this, which is nice. I do like the, the legend is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't have to put them in order. I apparently need all my concentration to cut labels. <laughs> I'm like, no, don't cut off a finger. Okay. So I do know some of them have a lot and I'm pretty sure these big ones can hold 13. So one, two, three, four, five, five of them. No, this one's gonna need it. This one's gonna need three. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna have seven. Seven of them are gonna need two, two containers, or more than one of these big ones. So I'm gonna take out seven of them and put. small ones to make to offset the seven that I'm going to need more than one of the big one I think that's that will work maybe watch my math is no good and in the end I'm gonna have to like move some to smaller containers but that's okay I'm just going to get up the ones with a lot first. So this one is 553 five, and and then I'll put them in order even though they're technically nicely in order. Well, okay, you know what? Since I already know what needs to be in a big one and what needs to be in a small one because I put a dot in there, I'm going to just start labeling small ones and big ones depending on whether they have a dot and any extra will just be in the back so 211 needs a small one i'm gonna move you down a little bit 310 needs a big one and then i'll just keep putting things into the small ones until I run out of small ones. And then in the end I'll have like some in the big ones even though I don't need the big ones. But that's okay. Because it's easier to have these labeled 
before putting things in there because oh, this one needs a big one. It's easier to have them labeled when they're in these big containers. I mean, when they're in these ones, it's it's because it's, it's easier for me to find the container before you know what since I need a small one here I'll add another small one okay it's easier to look for the container than it is to look for the drills so and since they were already in alphabetical order, I was like, I don't have to rearrange it at the end. Well, you know, I know the last three are all one, one, one bag. I don't want to have to put like the ones in the one bag in in the big container. So I figure there. Those are the last ones. Eight, nine, five. Nine, eight. Okay, now I don't think now everything is just the big ones, so I could label the rest all big ones. Oop, I need it's because it's I'll do just to fit it. Okay. 902. Okay. okay, now I could just label all the other ones in the big ones. that works out then the last row will just be my extras where I need more than one container because there's just that much okay there okay so first ones up is five five three which I have a lot of I didn't do inventory I, I don't I don't do inventory anymore. <laughs> I just find it's not really necessary when you have a stash of drills. So I'm just going to just gonna cut them out and I guess I need a plastic bag to put my garbage in. So I'm just going to take out all the drills so that I could use this for my garbage. So, so yeah, I think I said I could fit 13 in here. So six, nine, 12, you know, I'll just put 12 in and then if I really need to, I will squeeze more in. So this week, I didn't do a whip and chat, so I guess today will be my whip and chat. I am recording this just the Monday before it's getting posted, so it's actually a holiday for me. 
today. It's the Juneteenth holiday. You know, it's actually getting warm in here. I'm gonna take off my sweater. It was, it was actually like, it's actually, the weather has been weird. Like, it's been raining a lot. I was, I actually read an article that it's one of the most rain that the region has gotten in like years kind of thing. So yeah, it's been raining a lot. But I'll take this rain over last year's 100 degree weather, so. Although this weekend it's actually supposed to get warm. So how many more do I have? So here's three, six, nine, twelve. So I'm gonna need another one after this. But yeah, no, it's been, or I could maybe squeeze in everything. It's been weird, like it's been raining a lot and it was cold and then so, and then sometimes there would be a day where it got to 70 degrees and then it would be cold again and right now it's kind of going into the cold again and it's raining outside. But I saw this weekend it's supposed to reach like over 80 so I might have to set up my... My air conditioning thing, maybe, possibly. I did end up buying another, um, what do you call that? Air conditioning unit. Another of my portable air conditioning units. Because last year, around, like, around this time last year, it got into, like, record degree temperatures in Washington State, as in, like, we were dying. <laughs> I have no air conditioning unit. I don't have like a central AC, but I bought one of those, uh, what do you call those, those portable ACs last year. And, but see, the thing is when I bought it, it was too late. The hundred degree weather happened. So I had to sadly be tortured in hundred degree weather when I'm not used to it. So, so yeah, I could probably fit the last three in the last two, in the two containers, unless there's more 553s. Five, five I have a lot, I have a lot of purples, so I'm hoping they're all stuck together. So, so yeah, I bought another air conditioning unit, but I haven't had to use it because it hasn't gotten hot yet. Well, I'm hoping it doesn't get hot. Um, but I, ha I have it ready. I haven't opened it yet, so I think this weekend will be my test of my new one. I do know my old one works, so, and I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna need it this year, but I figure better have it and not need it than have the torture that I did last year. Like, last year, I, it was just, it was torturously hot, like, and, and we don't normally get those kind of temperatures. Like, normally, the, the high would be like 80. So to have it, to have se like consecu several consecutive days that were over a hundred and then several days where it was over, it was over like 90 degrees. That's not normal. Not normal for us. We will, we will, we will melt. <laughs> we're not used to this. So anyway, I think I have some labels that I've already started cutting up, so. So yeah, I just reuse labels. So what is, where's my pen? My pen. So this is J553. So yeah, nope, I'm, I'm hoping that this year will not be a repeat of like last year where it was obscenely hot. I am not used to that kind of heat living in that kind of weather. So, so I'm prepared. I got another um, portable AC. 
because last year I only had the one, so what I ended up doing was... What I ended up doing was putting it in my bedroom because that's it's important so I could sleep. And so that's 12. That's the other bottle. So, so yeah, I'm really, really hoping we're not going to get the obscene heat that we got last year. But who knows? Like, I, I checked the forecast, and it doesn't look like we're going to get hot this year. But do they really know? Do they? Do they? But then it says, it also says that a large amount of the U.S. is going to have above average temperatures this year. So, whether or not I'm part of that is a question, but recently it's, it's been, it's been rainy, it's been cold. I even saw something in the news that the cherry tree people were complaining that, that the spring was unusually cold, that their cherries are not going to produce as much this year, which is sad. I, I really like cherries. <laughs> it's like one of my things that I look forward to in the summer. So it means it'll be expensive, like everything else nowadays. Everything's expensive nowadays. <laughs> so. But. Oh, okay. This one is 209. But yeah, nope, I, so we will see how, how hot it is this year. I, I've seen other people already complain about how warm it is already. It's not, hasn't been that warm yet for me, so you might still see me wearing long sleeves for a little bit. But it's not, it's not like it's cold, cold, but cold enough that sometimes I'm wearing a sweater. But I think in this room, I have all these lights on because it looks better on camera to have the lights on. And lights actually warm up a room, so. So yeah, we will see. So since I didn't, so this week I did not make a whip and chat. I didn't do one last week either, so I've been slacking on my whip and chats. So, yeah, I mean, I was, yeah. And then next week, I kind of have plans for my Wednesday video, so maybe there won't be a whip and chat next week either. Um, so this will be my whip and chat, so that's, that's 12. And then this will be the second container. So let's just do nine, nine each. So. So what was I going to talk about? So this, so this week, what did I do this week? So I, I think since the last time my whip and chat happened, so I had my birthday, went to visit my went to go visit my mom and my sister and my new niece. So my niece is like so much more like, like let, like she, I feel like she's having a personality now. Like in the beginning, all they did kind of do is cry and they kind of still just look blobby, the babies. I'm being mean, but I, this is like how I'm like, yeah, they just kind of look like blobs and then all they do is cry and eat and sleep. And then now that she, when I went to visit, she was a little bit more than two, two, five, two a little bit more than two months old. I feel like she's starting to gain a personality, like she, she, she smiled, she makes this really funny, like, angry face all the time where she kind of scrunches her, her eyebrows and she looks angry, it's really cute. Um, and then I was like, 
Are you guys sure she can see? Because is she like squinting because she can't see? Because my my brother-in-law has he always says he, he would be blind without his glasses and my family, my mom, my sister, my dad and me like I don't wear glasses. My sister doesn't wear glasses. Both my parents did not wear glasses until they were over 50 years old. So so it, that's mainly just glasses because they're old, right? Um, my mom wears her glasses all the time now. My dad only puts on glasses if he's going to read. So, so yeah, I think my side of the family, we have the pretty good eyesight. So I was like, are you sure she didn't, um, she didn't inherit my brother-in-law's bad eyesight and she's making her scrunchy face because she's squinting and not because she's angry. <laughs> but yeah, no. She makes this really cute scrunchy face where her eyebrows are like, she looks like she's angry. And I'm like, why does she look like she's angry? And then my, my mom's like, come on, you're a baby. You have no worries. You don't need to be angry. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's 2.11. So this is five, and I thought I would fit five in here, so I guess we will see. Um, so that was nice to visit then. Um, we didn't really do much for my birthday. We had a cake, and my mom made some food, but that's a nice meal. A mom cooked meal. Yeah, I could fit five. I could probably fit six. So. So, yeah. 783. And then at work. Hasn't been anything crazy. Like, so didn't have to do any presentations but it's been busy like I it's getting closer to the time when my co-worker is retiring so I have yeah I have to prepare for that we I have another co-worker that's I, I she's crazy and and I mean this in a nice <laughs> I, I mean, I tell her to her face, I was like, so she's going on a one month hike and she said she's there, she's planning to, to hike 15 or 20 miles a day. And I'm like, that, that's what she enjoys. But so since she is going on the hike, that means that someone has to train for her position. So I had another person training on her position because I was her backup before. And I can still be her backup, but but I figure it's a good training opportunity for someone else in the group. So worst case scenario is I can still be the backup. So so yeah, she's had to train two people because I have two people taking on like you know half of her duties each so so yeah that's so there's a lot of training going on last week and then plus I have to train the person who replaced me on like my job from like two jobs ago <laughs> I have to train because I don't know if you know like last year I got I got like a promotion in July and then and then this January I got another promotion to be supervisor so I was still in the process of training the person who replaced me in July and it's one of those things where I'm not going to train them unless we have a project that needs the training so that was my plan it's like okay now we have the project so now I'm training someone who replaced me two jobs ago and then I was recently able to have someone replace me in the job that I left in January so I have to train them so yeah there's a lot of training going on <laughs> training going on so and when training happens then I can't do my 
normal job. So, so yeah, fun times. Fun, fun, fun times. Lots, lots of work to be done. So this is G550. So lots of training happening. And, and then, yeah, and then I have another coworker because apparently a lots of, lots of my coworkers, three, six, so this should fit in just one. So I have another coworker in August going to also take a different one, take another month off to do to do a hike also so yeah i have some hardcore hikers in my group that want like me i'd be fine hiking like maybe a weekend but i have no desire to be out in the woods for a whole month nope 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 no desire not my not my enjoyment i'll do i'll do maybe a week at most but after that, I'm like, nope, I want, I want internet. <laughs> I want, I want a shower. I want a TV. So, but yep, I have some crazy coworkers who like doing this into the woods for a month thing. So, oop, 210 has more. So, yep, this is not going to fit in there, so. So, this one will have to go into here. So yeah, what else has been? Not nothing. Nothing is really crazy. Nothing crazy. Really crazy. Okay, so on that note, then maybe I should go and look at my comments. I'm gonna move some stuff and answer questions. The questions do really help, so, because, yeah, lots of times I'm like, oh, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I can always just talk about the kidding up. So, so, like, okay, so, I have so many, like, my mom, when I went to visit, she gave me back 11, 11 diamond paintings so she has finished actually she gave me back and then all i could get her to fill out on in the journal is all i could get her to fill out in the journal is just a like when she finished when she started and quant um, how many days she took and then i have her i gave her some stickers to help number her her finishes and when she gave them back to me my mom actually just finished well, she's probably past that now. Um, her 100th diamond painting. I was like, wow, like I've been diamond painting how long? And I'm I'm only at like 200 something. So yeah, no, my mom, my mom has been diamond painting more than I have. So I need to go make that video of my mom's finishes. My actual plan for this past Wednesday's video was to show my mom's finishes 37 to 60, but it didn't happen. Because that's what happens and the video on Wednesday was the video that I ended up making because you know like you I have all these plans of like I'm gonna make this video and then suddenly the video that I planned wasn't the one that ended up being made it was some other video so so yeah three six so this is ten should fit into one so yeah the Wednesday, so that might be next Wednesday's video instead. Um, and then my plan was to do every 20 of my mom's finishes. So 
after the 36, finish 37 to 60, because the last time I finished, um, I made a video, I think I went up to number 36, and then following that, I'll do an every 20, so the next one would be 61 to 80, and then 81 to 100. So, that's my, that's my plan for my mom's videos. You know, I thought Craftably was resin drills. I'm pretty sure these look like acrylic, but I could be wrong. But I, when I was looking at their website, I couldn't find anywhere that said that, yeah, we do resin drills. So, so yeah, or I didn't look too hard. In their description, there was nothing that says that they do resin drills that I could remember, so. So I'm gonna, I'll find out when I diamond paint it. Usually I could tell when you actually diamond paint it because I feel like resin drills fit differently on, the, um, in squares at least. I can't tell the difference in rounds, but in squares, I feel like the resin drills fit, fit differently because I, their, their sides, I think are, I think they're slightly taller and their sides are more, more straight down as opposed to like an angle. I don't know if that makes sense. So then the squares, they kind of fit more like blocks next to each other. So that's why they tend to be nicer on squares, at least. 702. Oh, no, wait, 792. So I made my comments. I'm so behind. <laughs> I apologize on on not responding to comments right away. I used to and then I don't know. I I get home and I'm just like I, I'm like I get home and it's not the thing I I think it, I I blame my mom <laughs> because I got so used to responding to my comments when I would get home after work and then while I'm eating dinner but then when my parents came I was like well it's kind of rude to to be on the computer while having dinner with folks so I got out of the habit and then I thought when with my mom being with my sister I'd go back into the habit but nope so and then the farther you get behind in responding to comments, it, it just seems so much more daunting. But that's that's fine. I'll get through them all. So I... And sometimes I actually answer them onto these things. On these things here. So... 3371. So, first question... Wow, am I that behind on comments? I'm really behind on comments, okay. Note to self, today, after this video, <laughs> answer comments. Um, so, Felicia asked, can you give us a link to, to get the coloring pages? So this was on my whipping chat, on my last whipping chat. So I do put links of pretty much everything I show on the video, maybe. Um, so the coloring book image I got was from Crystal Canvas Art Designs, and I put a link to the coloring book image, but they do have more than the one that I have. So they have several different coloring book images. So it's been interesting diamond painting it. I've only diamond painted it while in the whip and chat, so I might need to just diamond paint some of it off camera. But <laughs> I haven't... So yeah, the links should be in the video. Yeah, okay. I'm looking at like how many days ago that was. I was like, okay, I need to go through and start answering my comments. Uh. <laughs> so thank you, Felicia, for the question. Angie asked me, or said, happy birthday, thank you. Um, how many diamond paintings do you have? Do you think you have kitted up but not started? How many paintings do you have that have not been kitted up? I have no idea, let's see. Uh, kitted up and not started. The ones that I could recall, I have that one, 
one. I have my one from mindfulness that I haven't started. I have a diamond art club that I haven't started. I have my square crystal canvas art designs that I have not started. Um, I have a mystery diamond painting that I have not started. And actually, that's it. I need to go kit up more. Um, if I don't count the stuff that I I'm, I kitted up for my mom, those are the ones I have kitted up for myself. So yeah, and the whole scope of things. <laughs> I don't have that many kitted up that I haven't started. Now I have like one, two, three. I think I have like four. Four diamond paintings that I started that I kind of am on a kind of on a hiatus from it, so but yeah, no, I only have I yeah, now that I think about it, I haven't been oh these are 209. So there's more 209. So they must have just been so it's all 09. Am I gonna these gonna need a whole nother bottle, so So let me label the bottle before I forget it. So 2209. So yeah, I don't actually have that many kitted up that I haven't started. I've been trying to be good and not kit up too many things and try to finish them. But reality wise, you like, so recently I had finished a diamond painting and then I was looking through what I had kitted up. I was gonna start my crystal canvas art design stone painting, but I had gotten a message from them saying that one of the colors was like not inferior in quality and they were gonna send me the drills. And at the time, I, I actually just got it like a couple days ago, but at the time I hadn't gotten them yet, so that was gonna be my next start, but so then I didn't start it and I started, I did, I diamond painted my Tin Me Arts diamond painting that I think I kitted up, I don't know, maybe a month ago because I was like, oh, I can finish this one while I'm waiting for my next PR packages and things like that. So I feel like I, but then I, I, I it was, it was like a sunflower image and I had just diamond painted a sunflower image and I was thinking if I had more kitted up, I wouldn't have had to do that one. Even though I wanted to do it, it was just more like I kind of thought I should have done like a different type of picture. And I could have done my Diamond Art Club one, but it was a bigger one and I just didn't, didn't, well, I'm doing, I have one, one thing in here into the big container, but that's fine. But yeah, no, I feel like I should have I, I, when, since I've been trying to be good and not have too many things kitted up, that way I don't, I don't just like, I don't know. I don't just have a whole bunch of things kitted up. Oh wait, I, if you count my, my, um, heaven and earth designs, I have three of them that I haven't started. So <laughs> that's, the, and they're all kitted up, but those ones are just kind of ones that I will do whenever so so yeah maybe I do have a couple things get it up um, but yeah I've been trying to be good and not just have a whole bunch of things kitted up but but reality wise is the reason I have so many things kitted up is when I finish something I will find something already kitted up that matches my mood and not necessarily just diamond paint something because it's kitted up. Because I, I don't know, I go through moods of when, what I feel like diamond painting and at the time of me kitting up I might have felt diamond like diamond painting that but not, not at the time of doing the diamond painting. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if anyone else has the moods like and that's why I'm that's why I'm a serial kitting upper because There'll be times I'm finished with something and then nothing I have kitted up I want to do. So, <laughs> so yeah. There's the ones that I, that's the stuff that I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I counted them. I just started naming them. Let's see. Clara asks, where did you get your journals from? I'm guessing you mean this. 
Um, I made it myself. I actually do have the template for the piece of like this here available on my shared templates link um, below in the description where I also have links to I also have my templates for my DMC labels and things like that in there so yeah I made it myself I made a video about how I made it also at some point and I made made videos about how I made my thumbnails and things like that there are videos somewhere on my channel most of those I think are in my how to playlist so which I, is kind of where I put things when I'm like I don't know where to put these so yeah, I made my journal. Now I'm thinking I've had actually more than one person ask me about where I get the journal. And I'm like, no, and I'm not going to sell them. Um, I, I, I had in the past, I like in the past to make extra money, I used to sell books, used books on Amazon. And I don't have any desire at all to ship things out anymore at all. So... Yeah, that will take away from my diamond painting time. But no, I, I made it myself. I got, I got, I just printed it on paper. For, I got slightly thicker and, and then I cut it in half using a paper cutter. And then I have a hole punch that does the mushroom hole punch so that I could use these little discs here. And then I kind of just transfer them. Like this is my journal for things I have kitted up, like my newer ones. So I have like, see, I, I have, this is my diamond art club that I have kitted up. And then there's the crystal canvas art designs that I have kitted up that I haven't started. Um, my other stuff that I was talking about, I've had kitted up prior to me making this journal, so it's in my old format, but I might transfer it into this journal in the future when I actually go off and do them. So... So yeah, that's where my journal came from. I made it myself. Okay. So thank you, Clara, for the question. So Jerry asked, oh, I should take, what, what is this? 898, 898. So Jerry asks, when you put your diamond paintings in the photo album, do you seal them first? Um, no, I don't actually, most of my diamond paintings are not sealed. I, I, I only seal the ones that are going to not be framed under a glass or not going to be put in my portfolio book under the plastic in my portfolio. So no, they're not, they're not sealed. I don't actually seal most of my diamond paintings, mainly because, I don't know, I don't enjoy the sealing process. And I think it's usually, usually unnecessary most of the time. So if you're going to have something in, if you're going to have something in, in a book, most of the time the drills will not fall off. And if they do fall off, then I have a stash and I've been keeping my legends so I could always put, put it in there, put like replace it. Now, if you're diamond painting is one of those ones where the drills are popping off. Yes, I would seal it. But yeah, most of the time, nope, I don't seal anything. If I see something missing in the future, I might, one, not care. Be like, oh, there's a hole. Oh, well, because <laughs> I've had that happen. I'm like, oh, there's something missing. Oh, well, 
Or if I really, if it really bothers me, I will go to my journal, find the legend, find what, what DMC that symbol is, get it from my stash and fill it in. I might end up, if, if it popped out, I'll probably end up using this quickie glue to, to, to make sure that it's sticky because I figured if it popped out, it was probably not that sticky. Or I put in a drill that's not completely flat so it wasn't adhering well. So, so yep, yeah, nope. No to the ceiling. But now I, I, I've had folks in the past mention that where they live, it was like the temperature wasn't, it was like either too hot or too cold. I think it was too hot. And they said that when it's when it's too hot, the drills don't stick as well. So then they have to seal their diamond paintings. So where I live, it's pretty temperate. Like it doesn't really get too hot. It doesn't really get too cold. So I haven't had that problem. But yeah, if you live in a place where your diamond paintings are not going to be in a place with relatively st stable temperatures, it you might need to seal them. But I have not had to. Luckily. But I do like when people write comments about their own experience because I have my I have my experience based off of, you know, my own experience, but like, like I said, like some people have told me that during the summer it gets pretty hot that they have to seal their diamond paintings as they go along, apparently, because maybe the glue would start kind of melting and therefore, I don't know why I'm going and pick that up, and the drills will pop off. I don't know. All right, so... Melissa asked, she said she downloaded my DMC chart and printed it. What beads do you put in the column? Are they labeled? And what diamonds go into each column? I, I, when I made my chart, I made it purposely vague so that you can decide what to put in each column. So, so yeah, I mean, I was putting in a column, I, I was putting in rounds and then squares, and then I also had a space to put round ABs and square ABs, and then I think I had two extra spaces for whatever ends up being the next thing. So yeah, that's the reason I I didn't label them. Because I was like, folks might want to put different things in the columns. So Lily asked me, what Filipino soap operas do I watch? Uh, you know, now that my mom hasn't been with me, I haven't, I've been very not good at watching the, the soap operas, but I watch the things that are on the Filipino channel, so I think they're the stuff made by the network ABS-CBN, so I was, the last thing I watched, it was called, it was called Viral Scandal, so... I still have to watch the last week, I think. I, I For whatever reason, I didn't finish watching it. <laughs> I have to go finish watching it, just to see what ends up happening. I just forget that it's like on my queue of things to watch, and then, and then I never finish watching it. <laughs> I have a problem finishing watching things. Like, I would start it, and then, and then, like, I'm like, ooh! I was like, oh, it's going to end soon, so I'm just going to wait for it to end so that I can just watch it all at once, and then suddenly I like, it's, it's been like two months and I still haven't watched the finish. <laughs> Probably because sometimes endings of things just kind of disappoint. So, so yeah, that was the last one that I ended up watching. That, it was called Viral Scandal. And yes, it's in English, the title, because a lot of... Filipino soap operas use English titles. So Marge 
asked me, why would you, what would you do with all these drills anyway? Buy diamond paintings that don't come drill with drills? Do they sell those? They actually, I am actually, um, so this was in a kidding down video <laughs> and someone's like, why are you bothering with this? So my main reason for keeping the drills are one, for whatever reason, I cannot throw them away. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just like something in me that like cannot throw them away. But yeah, I can't throw them away. I apparently miscalculated and I have two more extra containers, but let's make sure that there are drills and everything. So those two are empty and that one's empty, but that's fine. Yep, so I got everything in there. So I'm gonna just put a label on this and call this 563 warped fields wow this took me a while to do <laughs> maybe i shouldn't kid up my next one but nope i'm kidding it up it'll be a long long video so next one i'm kidding up is going to be in the, these Elizabeth Ward containers. I don't actually use these that often. I'm like, now I'm trying to fix up my my Tic Tac container things here. So I could put that away. I have too many things on my table. So I'm like, the less things on my table, the easier, right? So I'm going to use this for my craftably, the Elizabeth Ward containers here. So yeah, long video. I think I need to take a sip of water. Oh yeah, I should take away this garbage here. I think just having these little individual packets just make kidding up take so much longer. Here are the drills, the drills, and it comes with these big stickers, which, will they fit? Maybe. So, so let me measure it because I always like putting that in there. So. Seventy one and a half by fifty two. So fifty two by seventy one point five. So it's bigger than it actually told me it was supposed to be. So it's a full drill with sixty colors and I think there's only there's two ABs with these are square and there's two ABs. There is a DMC code and it's still 620 2022. I'm actually going to pause. I saw, I heard my laundry. Okay, so after that pause, I went and <laughs> set up my laundry. So, you know what I realized when I was like just setting up the laundry? I think I made a comment about whether Craftably was resin or not, but I was kidding up a a crafty so yeah no I don't know I have to I have, I'll have to check to see if those are resin drills or not but this is gonna be my first craftably so why is it so I guess we will see here I don't know I'm hoping these are removable and I hope they're not too removable so I did notice the drills are in the baggies and they're in order. So I need that container to put the baggies in. Even though I don't keep them anymore, I need them. So yeah, I don't, I was like, wait, 
this is what I was thinking about while load, um, unloading the laundry and putting it into the dryer. I was like, wait, did I just say craftably? These look like... So I... I think this looks... It does look like resin drills, maybe. So... So 60 here. So I'm just going to go backwards since it seems like the drills are packed in order, but the one in front is the last one. Man, I hope I'm not getting static in these ones. This is the one thing why I kind of don't like the baggies. I feel like I get more static in the bags than I do in the ones that are in the strip packaging. So I kind of, okay, so if I put the drills on top of that and then the container on top of this, we'll keep it flat. And might just be a tad bit too big, but that's okay. It's just going to just be kind of squished there and there. And let's just hope it comes off because what's the point of giving baggies if I'm going to, if it's not going to come off? <laughs> so 59 probably just needs the small one too. What's the point of the baggie um, giving the labels if they're not going to come off the, the containers? So let's hope they come off the containers. Although I do notice that labels stick more to these hard plastic containers than they do the the more um, opaque containers. Like the other one with it that's a softer plastic, it it peels off really easily. So 58 looks like a lot. So you probably need the bigger one. So yeah, what was I answering? Oh yeah, so. Marge was asking what I keep my drills for and um, are there paintings that don't come with drills? They actually do sell diamond paintings that don't come with drills. If you see my coloring book image that I got from Crystal Canvas Art Designs, they did not come with drills. And, and I'm just using my leftover rhinestones to do them. And you could also... 57 seems like a lot too, so I need the bigger one. You could also do like a heaven and earth designs which is a cross stitch pattern and use your spare drills on those. So if, if you or you know if you have like yeah which is a heaven and heaven and earth designs is a cross stitch pattern website and I've been doing some on a blank diamond painting canvas using my spare drills. So yeah, I, I don't know what to do with my rounds yet. I'm, I'm contemplating whether to try a round on a blank canvas for funsies. I don't know. We will see. Um... How do you order a canvas without drills? I have so many in store. You know, I don't know. I've never actually ordered a canvas without drills other than my coloring book image, but I don't know if you could just order canvases and we could just like like if I want I wonder if we can because I would I would love to do it for my rounds. I mean, how much of a of a price difference would we get if they didn't sell it with the drills? I don't know because I have tons of spare rounds and if it can be cheaper without the drills then that would be nice right but yeah no other than the coloring book image other than coloring book images I don't know if you can get canvases. I would I would want one that already told me exactly what DMC is like. I don't want the coloring book image. Just like be like here is the canvas, use your own drills. And I know Heaven and Earth Designs the crown jewel ones you could get those for but those are only for squares. So I'm hoping at some point they will 
they will do it for rounds so that I could use my round drills because I don't think I think like the white background on the blank canvases won't look good for round round diamond paintings so so yeah I'm hoping at some point it will work out <laughs> and I think there will be a market for folks that are just looking for blank canvases because or canvases with no drills because as I don't know I don't know if you've seen my spare drills I have tons of spare drills but I've mainly been using them for in case I run out and I did actually just recently run out of the diamond painting I just finished I ran out of drills for two colors so it has it does happen it doesn't happen that often but it does it it does happen. I feel like you especially might run out of drills on the ones that are like in these baggies because I, I bet these are hand weighed probably so it just takes a little bit like a mistake or something or you know if you drop your drills on the floor I am like I'm not I'm, I'm not desperate enough anymore to pick up my drills from like if I drop the container of drills on the floor I'm like okay is it in my stash I'm gonna go check out my stash but of course you know what usually happens is the one that you run out of is the one that you don't have much in your spares because I feel like that's what happens like I remember my mom dropped like a whole bunch of drills for a color and then she's like oh yeah I didn't I just threw them away because I figured you have some and then I was like looking through my stash and I'm like no I don't have any um I, I ended up doing um going to like a cross stitch website that has a DMC like substituting thing and then I found a substitute for the one that my mom dropped and luckily they actually did match the substitute so so yeah sometimes it works out and sometimes the one that falls down is always the one that you don't have any of and then you have tons of some other ones but those are never the ones that fall down oh. yeah I'm not a big fan of pouring from these baggies and this is also why I don't like working from them at all either I wish they they got the thicker baggies like you could get the smaller baggies that are thicker they're slightly easier to pour from okay so next question how do I tell the difference between acrylic and resin so usually how I tell is I look at the flaws on the drills so and I could only really tell on squares I can't tell the difference in the rounds they all look the same to me so what I've noticed is that in squares the acrylic drills tend to not be straight on the sides and therefore sometimes they kind of when you could kind of see the gapping more while these resin drills they tend to be straight on the sides so that when you put the drills together they they fit better but that doesn't help it when the canvas is printed so that there's gapping so these ones I think they look like resin I, I yeah see the flaws so what I've no so that's why I said I notice it in the flaws so what I notice in acrylic drills they tend to have a it looks like almost like someone got a toothpick and picked the bottom and then there's like a little dimple at the bottom resin drills when there is a, the one of their flaws of resin drills is they can tend to be concave so like they're not flat on the bottom and I don't just mean like there's a little dot where it looks like there's a dimple no it, it's just the drills are not flat at the bottom it's kind of almost like the mold wasn't completely filled and it and it just filled the sides of the mold 
and and then there's kind of like a bowl in there and that's my main indication that it's probably resin is when i see the ones with the so these look like resin um i see the ones the flaw is the ones with the con like the the bottom is concave and i also notice that in like i said i notice it in the flaws so i notice resin drills tend to have if they're gonna have a knobbly bit it's usually in the corner so one of the corners has an extra knobbly bit and then i also notice that on on the top they can tend to have what looks like a burst bubble on the top so i'm not talking about just like a little dimple now i'm talking about like it looks like a bubble burst onto there and it and that's one of the main flaws also on the resin drill so that's how i could tell i look at the flaw the ones that are a little bit messed up and you can tell it's resin by the ones that are not completely beautiful looking so yeah these look like resin it has the it has the hole on the top where it looks like something burst and i do see a couple more concave ones so yeah i think i think these are resin so this one seems like a lot so i think i need the bigger one and i also notice resin drills i feel like tend to have a little bit more static I wonder if it's just how it's made. So. So, yes. So, Celine, what did she say? Let's try to read and fill these things up at the same time. So, would you be interested in doing an experiment with coloring the diamond painting? I had to form it as a question so you would see it. So, so what I think is she she commented on my um, my whip and chat when I was doing the coloring book image, and and since the coloring book image, I'm putting round drills on a white background. I'm concerned that I'll be able to see the background. So she gave a suggestion to color the canvas and with markers. And then and then coloring it and then putting the stuff on the diamond painting. You know, I think if I hadn't started, maybe I don't know, maybe I could do a little section. I don't actually have markers though. I don't do adult coloring. I don't do, I don't, I, I've never had, I don't have the markers. So I would have to buy markers to do this thing. So, so yeah, that's my only thing about maybe not doing it is I don't actually have the markers. Um, but she, so she was suggesting that I, on my coloring book image that I color them with the markers and then diamond paint them. And it might work. And it might also kind of give me like guidance on my, what colors to choose for my rhinestones on it. But yeah, I don't have the markers. I don't have the markers to do this. Okay, that, I put that in a bit too badly. But if anyone has tried doing that on a coloring book image, I don't even know how many of us have done the coloring book images for diamond paintings, but... But yeah, it might be interesting. I would have to buy things though, because like I said, I don't do adult coloring, so I don't have the stuff. I don't have the stuff. I don't have the markers. I don't... And I don't know, would it take away the sticky? Actually, I don't know. It probably wouldn't. Would it take away the sticky? By marker, putting the marker on there? But it's an interesting concept. It might work. Maybe. As long as the markers don't take away the sticky. Okay, there is some static in this. I'm like, it's jumping, it's jumping. There. 
but nope, I have a drill on me. But yeah, no, I don't have the markers to try it out, unfortunately. So, I mean, I can try it out with some... <laughs> I have some permanent markers. <laughs> but I only have a couple colors, so it wouldn't be enough colors to completely cover a diamond painting. So, yeah. Thanks for the suggestion. Maybe if I get another coloring book image, I'll try it out. Since I already started this one. And, yeah, I don't have the markers. <laughs> But yeah, if I enjoy this coloring book image enough, and it was, it's and and it's a good way of using up my spares of things, cause yeah, I have I have tons of spares. Okay, Debbie asks, where did I get my diamond painting journal? Oops, second next day I told you I get more than one question about my diamond painting journal. Yes, I had answered it earlier. I made them myself, so. I know there are journals that you could buy, but the journals that I, I, I contemplated buying one instead of making it myself, but a lot of the journals I saw had information I didn't care about or it had too much information and it didn't have information that I want to monitor, so I, yeah. There are things that you want to do and, and yeah, and then there's things that other people want to monitor and I don't want to monitor it and things like that so I just decided to make my own I'm like I mean like I have a word processing I'm like I could just type something up and I have a printer so so yeah nope made made the journal myself random extra drill if I really needed that one they didn't give me enough So, so far, I've been doing okay in my choosing what size container to use. So, next one, Darcy asked, do you talk about making sticker screenshots and scanning the legends? Um, I did actually make of two videos, one about how I make my thumbnail pictures, which are this and how one how i make my when i scan my legends so i i have made those two videos have been made they should be in maybe my how to um watch list is that what you meant no no it's not the what did it call <laughs> why can't i think of words it's in my how to i think this seems like a lot will it fit in this one or do I need the bigger one? I guess I th I'll try. Um, it, it should be in my how to... Playlist. Yeah, that's what it's called. Playlist. Um, what printer and scanner do you use? So I I have a one of those all-in-one printers. It's it. I have an HP Color Laser Jet printer. But any, any printer that has the scan function or or if you don't have a scanner okay it's not gonna fit I can use the bigger one you can always take a picture but I feel like that takes longer than scanning but yeah I have one of those multi-function printers I actually got it refurbished so it was used when I got it but it's been working perfectly fine. <laughs> so yeah, I have an HP color laser printer. And when I got it, I've only, I still haven't changed out the, it's not going to fit over there. So I'll have to go in the next column. But yeah, any any printer with a scanner should work, and color should work. But yes, I made a video of it in the past. It should be in my how-to playlist. I 
And I also have a video on how I made my journal too. It should be in my how-to playlist since I got two questions about my journal. So, so Lily asked, would you please show us your new way of storing your canvases? That should have been Wednesday's video, this past Wednesday's video, uh, if you know. I have it, yeah, I have it uploaded, so it should be, it should be up. I don't know if I like it. I kind of, I got, so what I ended up doing was, I've seen pictures of people storing their canvases this way on Instagram, and what I got was those vinyl roll storage containers that you put over your door and I put my diamond painting canvases on it and I can see it right now because it's in this door um, I have I have like a double door in this room I'm not a big fan of double doors but <laughs> I have a double door in this room and one one door is holding my round canvases and the other one is holding my square canvases and I see it right now I kind of like it I kind I kind of see what I have and and therefore maybe it will prompt me to be like ooh I should go do that one or things like that so yeah I have the video uh, it should be Wednesday's video so 34 so, okay, Ina asked, oh, okay, in my last kidding up, I think it was my last kidding up, yeah, last week's kidding up, she asked about QLUO shop because she saw that it was a real 40 by 50 um, and not just a 30, 40, 35 by 45. And she asked, is QLUO a Chinese based shop? Yes, they are a Chinese based shop. Um, I had done one PR package for them before in the past and they never contacted me again but yeah they are they do come from china i had bought from them before i did the pr package from them and they do ship from china so okay seraphina asked which budget company would you recommend to purchase from okay <laughs> Um, so I ha I do I have done a lot of PR packages. Um, I've of the um, budget diamond painting companies, the only ones I've actually bought from have been GBFKE and Fancells, and I didn't really have any problems with either of them. Um, the other ones that I have unboxed for probably let's see. Oh, and, and QLUO. Those are the ones that I bought from myself prior to me being able to get these PR packages. And, and then now that I have the PR packages, I have not bought anything from them because, yeah, I have a source of... I have too many diamond paintings already. So, so yeah, I haven't had any issues with anyone, really. So I would suggest that you just buy from wherever is cheaper. That's what I would do. Uh, because the, the prices fluctuate. Some of the budget diamond painting companies are slightly more expensive than others. And lots of times their inventory is very similar. And I mean like the budget diamond paintings that I show like a lot of stuff of like. So I think I've shown. where What have I tried? So. There, like I said, I bought from QLUO shop, GBFKE, and Fancells. I have like actually went and bought from their store. Everything else has just been a PR package, and it's because I bought from those places prior to me becoming, I guess, big enough on YouTube for, for the companies to send me the PR packages. So, those were the ones I had tried out before. And like I said, I had no problems with them, but I've also, so I've gotten a lot of PR packages from, also from DIY Digital Art. They're actually one of the cheaper ones too. And I haven't had any issues with them. I mean, other than sometimes just diamond paintings, you run out of colors or 
or something like that. I haven't really had any issues and that's but that's why I also show all the finishes. And a lot of these budget diamond painting companies, the problem with them is that they get their sort their diamond paintings from multiple different manufacturers. So it's not always consistent the quality, which kind of sucks because then you don't know exactly what you're going to get. But that's why I try to show as many finishes as possible on my channel because because yeah you won't really know what's up with it until it's finished so so yeah like so yeah i got diy digital art everyday e-crafts let's see C colorful diy which i've only done i think one or two pr packages from them and they never they never contacted me again there's dp clubs diy choose there's a lot of budget companies. DIY Choose, DP Clubs, FG Normal, FG OBY. Um, diamond Art Gift. I'm trying to think of all the diamond paintings I've done. All the PR packages I've done. So yeah, I would, I would just, I have not really had any issues with any of them when whether they come or not um so i can't really say which one is better or not but so i would go for who's the who, who has cheaper prices because yeah they all just come to me the same or oh, and coup deals which i find is a little bit different because i think they manufactured their own diamond paintings so their stuff will look a little different from other diamond painting companies. So, and then there's the AliExpress diamond painting companies who a lot of them manufacture their own diamond paintings. So if you find a company on AliExpress that you like, their quality tends to be consistent. So since they, since they're, a lot of the AliExpress places are manufacturers as opposed to some of these budget diamond painting companies that are more distributors than manufacturers, then you get a little bit more consistency when in quality when you buy from more manufacturers than you do from distributors. So... So yeah. Sorry if that was a non-answer, but yeah, it's seriously I would just get from wherever it's cheaper. And then if you have a good experience with them, then just stick to them or or try another one. But I tend to pay for all of my stuff using PayPal. I know some people say to get prepaid prepaid credit cards too, if in case you're worried about where your financial numbers or details are coming from. But yeah, I usually just use PayPal. There will be a foreign transaction fee. So yeah, speaking of foreign transaction fees, since I'm doing, like, I was, um, if, like, since I'm in the U.S., the Craftably is in the U, the U.S., I don't get the foreign transaction fee, but I think for, for the Crafties, it's, they are a Chinese, I think, or Taiwan-based company, so you will have to pay the foreign transaction fee and dreamer designs even though I, when i get their stuff they're shipping from the us i always get a foreign transaction fee so i think they are canadian all right that's all my questions um i have finished all the questions so i'm almost done with this actually i'm not i still have 22 colors 23 colors so maybe in the interest of actually finishing this i'll just talk about the kidding up I'm actually getting kind of hungry. It's 3.46 p.m. Yeah. 
I didn't actually eat lunch because I ate breakfast at 10.30, so... No, at 11. I ate breakfast at 11, so... <laughs> this is what happens when I... Like, don't have work, so then I eat breakfast late, so then I eat lunch late, so then sometimes I don't have dinner because my lunch was late. So I think this might be one of those days where... Or my breakfast, yeah. I think dinner will be just... My next meal will just be dinner. Or snack, and then dinner. You can hear my dryer going on. Because I'm doing laundry too. I don't end up having to do laundry that often since I'm by myself. I do laundry for one and I try to fill up. What I do is I have two laundry baskets and I fill one up with my colors and one up with my light and whites and then when the basket is full that's when I go do laundry. I just have enough clothes that I could get by without doing laundry until until the baskets are full. I think this needs the second bigger one. And if clothes can't be, if clothes, if like every time I buy clothes and if I, I usually look at the washing instructions and if the clothes say it needs to be hand washed, I'm like, nope, not buying that. I am. I'm like, nope, I'm not hand washing. What is this? <laughs> because I'm like, if it has to be hand washed, I'm like, nope. I don't mind the hang dry ones. I'm like, I could do those. I just, I'll hang it to dry, but nope, there is nothing I'm going to hand wash. Clothes wise, so maybe I'm spoiled in that way, but nope. That's what washing machines are for. So, 19. So I'm planning to do this one. I'm kidding this up now. It's a Christmas image, but I was planning to diamond paint it, like, because, I don't know, in July, I tend to try to do at least one Christmas diamond painting, because, I don't know, there's all, I always hear about Christmas in July, so I do, I try to do one diamond painting in Christmas. I may or may not finish this. I'll start it in Christmas, and then I'll be like, okay, I'm done, and... <laughs> And then finish it for when it's actually winter. Just depends. I'm actually running out of the smaller containers. I'll have to. Oop, there's a drill in there in the corner. I do have more containers, so I'll just have to take from the other one if I need more small containers. Elizabeth Ward container, but with it having 60 colors, and I knew some of them would be a lot, it was either use this or a 60 bottle container. This It probably would have been fine with the 60 bottle container, I don't think. This was probably the only one that might not have fit in the 60 bottle container. So far. Maybe. No, I, those, I know the bottles don't hold that much. But I don't use this container system that often, so I was like, when I when I have an opportunity to use it, I should use it. Probably because I don't do di big diamond paintings that often. So and then this container is seems overkill for the smaller um, diamond paintings, unless I di put two diamond paintings in there, which I could do too. Okay, this is a lot, I think. Will it fit? Well, I have to go to this one. Yeah, I'm gonna need this bigger one. It's 
because I was talking about running out of the smaller containers, suddenly now everything needs these bigger ones. So yeah, I have I have like three of these knockoff Elizabeth Ward containers that I got from AliExpress. The ones on AliExpress, you could use. I, I think I got these for less than twenty dollars each. So when it was one of the AliExpress sales, that's the only time I buy on AliExpress when there's a sale going on because they have them often enough, and there's nothing I need like right away. So I always wait for. Usually there's nothing I need right away, so I usually wait for sales to happen. Although I have enough storage now, yeah. Famous last words. I have enough storage now that I shouldn't be buying more storage. I should not be buying more storage, but I do. <laughs> I mean, I just had a storage unboxing this week, so... Yep, it happens. I shouldn't be buying, but yet I am. Okay, I think this one needs this one. And that's why I have Jeanette sending me storage too, because she's apparently on the same boat. Not needing storage, but yet we still buy. I luckily have a house, so I do have enough space to have the more storage. I think this needs this one. And they're just in this room, so... So yeah, this is my recording slash craft room slash office because I also... This is the room I work when I work from home. So yeah, I actually am in this room a lot. So yeah, this is where I'm tr I'm gonna see if I could get my air conditioning unit to fit in here. The problem is I have this weird window here. It's not the original window that came with the house because I have... What was great is the previous owners kept a really good binder with the house information and then when I bought the house they gave me the, the binder with the house information. So I have one of these windows that you're so, that like jut out, I don't know what you call them, um, so that you could put plants in them. But then since it is like that, the only opening is this tiny window opening on the side. And if you have seen one of those portable air conditioning units, it has like that hose thing that you put on the side and most of the attachments will not fit on the tiny, tiny window that I have there. So I think I'm going to have to either cut said attachments or, I don't know, finagle something. Finagle something. I think I might just buy a foam board or something and cut things out and hopefully be able to, like, to put it on my window in this room because, yeah, it's going to get hot and I, I, need, I need my air conditioning unit because I'm not used to hot and I don't have I don't have central AC so I'm pondering if I even using these Elizabeth Ward container just because of the how big the the, the how big the labels are and I'll like Hopefully they fit. Okay, I think I need this bigger one. Otherwise, the labels are way too big for a lot of my containers. I think these would be too big for the bottle containers. And hopefully these will be removable. We will find out when I actually get it down. But once I know, then the next one I'll be like, okay, I know these are not removable. I don't have to put masking tape under it, which sucks because what's the point of having the label if I'm gonna have to do the masking tape thing? Okay, so I think I need some smaller containers. I do have another set of containers, so it's just a matter of me 
taking from here too. So, and I mix and match them. I know some people will keep like the set that I had. I think came with fifty containers, and it had like two rows of the small one, one, two rows of these ones, and then one row of the the big, big ones, this one, and then one row with these. These ones, I don't like them. They're just too big. Like, they're too big. Most of the time, I'm not gonna have something that needs something there in that big. So I think this should be the biggest container that I would want to have. And if I'm going to have to be filling that, I was like, man, that's a lot of the same color. Man, I'm trying to think what order to put these symbols in. I don't like the ones with a lot of symbols. <laughs> uh, I think, I think it'll fit in this one. Okay, this one has some static. So I'm just going to breathe into it. Add some of... I do notice that the... the... the, the drills are sticking to where underneath the... where the, the label is. I wonder why. I wonder if it has to do with the bag being really thin and I don't know I breathed onto the container I don't know if that helps I do have dryer sheets in here too if I really need to go that go that route I just find the breathing thing easier just add some moisture to the to the drills. And then I might put some lotion on my hand. I'm almost done. I'm getting the static now. Okay, got that. Oh, there's a drill stuck on me, apparently. Okay. Oh, another drill. So, add some lotion. Okay. So yeah, this is a much longer video than I thought it would be. <laughs> Number four, just need a small one. I was like, I'm only gonna do two diamond paintings. Two hours later. Yep, did the two diamond paintings. <laughs> probably like overestimating what size I need like I could probably have fit a couple more in the smaller ones maybe two I don't know will it fit in this Yeah, it's not going to fit. Apparently the one I took out, it doesn't have any of these ones, so I went and had to take out my other one. Yes, I have that many. <laughs> I have that many storage containers.
So yeah, this will be my first craftably, so I hope I, I hope I enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it. I did just record the unboxing today, <laughs> right before this video, so you won't see the unboxing until I finish this. So and this one probably just needs a small one. So yeah, I hope it turns out nice. The main reason I think I haven't gotten anything from Craftably is I don't tend to do the big ones and I think all of theirs are, tend to be big. And they're priced a little bit higher than like Diamond Art Club or Dreamer Designs, so... So yeah, I, but I figure, try out Craftably. So this is my try out cra Craftably. But I got this when it was on sale, so, and it didn't come in the tube, so that's their sale price when it doesn't come in the tube. So now, so I finished kitting this up, so now I'm just adding some containers in there. So, so yeah, here it is. I'm like, should I put them in order? It's a long enough video already, so might as well just make it longer, right? So, so I like to put letters first and then numbers. Two, seven, nine, three. Man, I wish there were more letters. These are letters, letters, symbols. Here's A. Okay, so B. Here's a four. Okay, so, and I also kind of like putting things that kind of look like letters with the letters too. So like even this one looks like a Y, so I'm going to put that with a Y. This one looks like an L, I'm going to put that with the L. This is an upside down Y, so I'm going to put that with Y. This looks kind of like an X, so I'm going to put that with, and then this is a sideways H, so I'm going to put it with the H. I don't know, it, it helps with my brain, even though they're not letters technically, they look like letters. Okay, so... And so, okay, C, D, E, F, G, H, these ones, I, J, I'm pretty sure I saw J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U here's the R U V W X here's this one. Though it's a Y. Okay. So now the letters oh wait, this is a Y also. Upside down Y. So there's the numbers. Okay, so now Oh my gosh, there's the carrots. I hate the carrots. So, math symbols. Oh, here's an X. I like to put things together. So, another Y. So, let's see. So now, the things with carrots. The things with triangles. I hate don't like the triangles. These are like my least favorite shapes. The things with triangles. And then the carrots. Things that look like the less than or equal symbols. So many. And see, these are in the same um, orientation too. Oh, more triangles. 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 So a whole row with just triangles. 
And then the arrows, things with arrows. I don't like the arrows either. <laughs> So those are things with arrows, things with circles, and dots. Things with circles and dots. This is half a circle. So let's put things with half circles, things with dots. Okay. These have dots. And now it's just like everything else, all the weird stuff. Things with lines. Yep, these are just the weird stuff that's just everything else miscellaneous. I'll put this one with the square, with things with dots. And then I'll, and then they'll just kind of go out into a different order as things go on. They'll change order. Okay, so I don't have any more space there. So there, there is. Okay, so the labels may or may not stick. Are they gonna stay stuck? Okay. Hopefully, I don't have to put anything in there so yeah there is that and here is this one here I'll probably put this here and I do have a label here well it's not really a label but it's not a sticker either so I'm gonna Cut this one out. I feel like that should be a sticker. There. So now it is. So, wait, I'm gonna put it inside because the top can move, but this shouldn't. So, there. And I can still see it. So yeah, there is that kitted up and that kitted up. And in case you don't remember, here is this diamond painting here. And this diamond painting here. So that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.